If we go to 2 Nephi chapter 29, verse 3, it says, And because my word shall hiss forth, many of the Gentiles shall say, A Bible, a Bible, we have got a Bible, and there cannot be any more Bible. What are some of your thoughts on this verse, Patrick, and how God does continue to speak to us today? I love the way that the Lord follows up in verse 7, where he asks, Know ye not that there are more nations than one? Know ye not that I, the Lord your God, have created all men, and that I re remember those who are upon the isles of the sea, and uh, that I rule in the heavens above and in the earth beneath, that I bring forth my word unto the children of men, yea, even unto all the nations of the earth. Like there's a sense of like, do you really think I only care about some people? Mm -hmm. Do you really think I only care about people in this one little place or in that one little place? I care about people everywhere. They're all my children. And so the Bible, we know, is, is a record of, of God's dealings and God's revelation with the people of Israel. And then as the apostles and Paul take the gospel to, to, the, rest of the, to the rest of the world. But even then, the rest of the world is only a tiny part of the world. God still loves people in Asia and in Africa and in the Americas and in the Isles of the Sea. God loves people everywhere. And I think one of the challenges that Nephi is identifying in the last days is, are we willing to listen? Are we willing to open our ears and open our hearts to the messages that we receive both from the books that are put into our hands, but also the messages that we receive through living oracles of God?